Greetings, this is Fallen Heart, and this is once again Life is Strange, and we're on the final episode now, and holy crap did shit hit hell last time we were here. Um, I'm going to talk about spoilers, but if you're going to complain about spoilers when you've clicked on a video this far into the series, you're kind of silly. But anyway, Chloe was shot right bang in the goddamn noggin. Max has been drugged and carried away by the big bad guy, who, unbelievably, wasn't actually Nathan, who I suspected all along, but was actually the really nice um, and cool photography professor, photography teacher. That was probably one of my favorite characters throughout the entire friggin' game. And in one of the most cliche bits of writing ever, the nice guy that we all love and can confide in whenever we want is actually the psychopath. The thing is, this game's writing has been so good up to this point that I did not expect that. So it being cliche kind of works in its favor because I didn't I didn't expect it at all. Uh, because the writing has been so good, I thought it was better than that cliche. But there we go. So, but it kind of worked. Um, anyway. We are finally on episode 5, Polarized. Let us continue this game and I have no idea. I hope we can reverse time and save Chloe's life. If Chloe dies at the end, I am going to be furious. Let's continue. Previously on Life is Strange. Shit hit the fan. I think this tornado is going to be caused by me getting my character, Max, getting really pissed off. What I think she's going to start this herself. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. We can't trust anybody. Except each other. You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. What are you doing in my dorm? You are so fucking dead! <sighs> Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. <sighs> Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. What are you doing here, Max? Victoria has to be next. What a lame gimmick. Rachel, why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Ugh. <sighs> is in serious danger. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Oh god, Max, look. She's still there. Oh, no. Chloe. Look how. What the fuck? Son of a bitch. Yeah, I know, this is the fifth episode, guys. You don't need to tell me this every time. I want to... Let's continue. I know. I'm pressing buttons. Let me skip this. I could really do with a drink right about now, but unfortunately I used the rest of mine here. 
bollocks. Well, I've started recording now, recording now, so I just I'll just have to deal with it. Ugh. This doesn't. God, he's not here. Chloe? What? Where? It's a dark room. Get up. Get up. Gotta get up. Space, space. Is anybody out there? Please, help! Right hand. Wait, detach. Help! Of course. And right in front of me. God, I don't remember anything that happened. Oh shit, that's me. He took that shot last night. <clears throat> Straps are hurt. If I could move it towards me. Finally, I'm free. Right, I can pull it. Almost. Lock it with my foot. That's right, that's right, that's right, that's right, that's right. Good girl, Max, good girl. I hate looking at myself like that. You'll pay for this, Jefferson. God, I don't remember anything that happened. This must be the same drug Nathan used on Kate. What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? I can only look. I can only look. Shit. That's right. I, I promised I would never go back in time like this again. But this is the only way. Right. Good idea, Max. Oh, that's great. Oh, Max. This angle highlights your purity, see? The slightly unconscious model is often the most open and honest. No vanity or posing, just pure expression. Christ, look at that perfect face. Fucking creep. Hold that stare there! Stay still! Oh, Max! You fucked up my shot! But please don't worry. We have all the time in the world. For now, I knew you were special the second I saw your first selfie. <clears throat> yes, I still hate that word. I mean, so do I, but still, you're a fucking psychopath, but I man. I love the purity of your own image. Not like Rachel, who was always looking in the wrong places. Poor Rachel. Wait. Let me try this angle. Setup. He tried so hard, but you can't just throw a few subjects around and expect a cohesive style or theme. So wait, but he, he had tried an the eye same for shadows and an eye for a whole lot more, as his elite family will find out, along with Arcadia Bay. Nice, oh, good. Oh, those eyes. It's just too bad you're so 
goddamn nosy knacks. Oh, fuck but you, This dude. room is under 24-7 surveillance, so all I had to do was text you from Nathan's phone. And you fell right into my hands. You really should have focused on schoolwork, not private detecting with your little friend. Fuck you. Chloe. You son of a bitch. Chloe. Right. Yeah, I'm sorry that I killed... That Nathan killed her in self-defense. But she had a troubled history like most Arcadia Bay dropouts. Nobody will be surprised. Or care. Fuck you. Though I promise, people will care when you oh, know. Oh, if I can Max. fuck the law, I'm gonna kill you. I wasn't lying you. when I said you have a gift. Okay. Now this looks good. Maybe a few more close-ups. Max, please do not move so much. I need you posed and framed my way. Maybe a new dose will calm you oh, down. No, no. Now don't move, or this no. will hurt much. Oh. Oh. Stupid bitch! You just don't listen, do you? In fact, you never did hear much in my class. If you had, you might have seen all this coming. God damn, you are a fighter, though. I've had my eye on you, and I've noticed that you've been more fearless this week than maybe your whole life. No. Remember my number one rule. Always oh. take oh. the shot. Oh. Fuck! I can't rewind time. Fuck! Oh, Jesus. I can't believe that happened. So sick. Couldn't handle stains on his photos. Good. Now I can use them. Whoa. I I'm definitely more awake in this photo. I could try this one. This might work. <sighs> Please work. Why is everything still black? You can see the rewind thing there, so it's still showing up. Did it freeze? I think it froze again. Hit resume game. Nope, I think it froze. Restart from last checkpoint, yeah. God damn it. Oh, jeez. I can't believe that happened. So I gotta watch this again. I'm so sick. Again, I wish I could skip the cutscenes. Right, while I'm here though, I can have a better look around and not click on that photograph right away. Um, so look at this. Wait, Jefferson couldn't handle stains on his photos. I'd really like to smash that fancy camera into Jefferson's face. Here, here. Okay, I broke those files when I kicked the trolley. Whoa, 
I'm definitely more awake in this photo. I could try this one. Right, this look. might work. Please work. Wrong way. Alright, hopefully it'll work this time. There we go. Yeah, it did freeze. I'm getting some spectacular images here, Max. Yes, Victoria would kill to be in your place, but she doesn't understand our connection. Connection? You're the winner, Max. I choose you. Your portrait. Fuck you. You're trying too hard. Said it better than I could, I know Max. you're scared. You all... Have the same doe-eyed look when you wake up here. Replaced by fear as you realize what's about to happen. Mr. Jefferson, why are you doing this? Oh, Max. I'm so glad you asked that question. Uh, simply put, I'm obsessed with the idea of capturing that moment innocence evolves into corruption. That shift from black to white to gray and beyond. Most models are cynical. They lose that naivete. However, some Blackwell students carry their hope and optimism with them like an aura. And those lucky few become my models. My subjects. Yes. You're a psychopath. And this is your last session. Au contraire, Max. I'm so sane that nobody knows what's happening to you right now. Sure you're sane, dude. Sure. And don't get me started on your late partner. I had enough of those faux punk sluts in my Seattle days. Go to hell. Son of a bitch. Go to hell. You will for everybody you've hurt. Unlike pure sweet Kate Marsh. I don't believe in that bullshit. Neither do I, but she still. She could have been my masterpiece. The world is what an artist makes it. And my muse. Blah, blah, blah. God, I hate your voice now. You might as well savor it, considering it's the last you'll hear. Oh. <laughs> that struck a nerve. Your face changed color. Beautiful. You will not get away with this. I want you to know that. Too bad you already made a convincing argument against Nathan in the principal's office. Thank you so much for setting him up for me. I do know that the Prescotts are going to have a major scandal when the town finds out what their elite I should have blamed you, homework. you cockstain. He's as sick as you. Don't judge people, Max. But that's why Nathan never should have been at Blackwell. That makes two of you. I help Nathan realize his vision. So few people get that chance. You brainwashed him! I became a sort of father figure for Nathan. It happens often in teacher-student relationships. It was kind of touching for a while. Did you tell him everything about your plans at Blackwell? Don't be stupid, Max. I told him what he needed to hear. I can't believe- In return, I had access to the Prescott fortune. Who do you think paid for this glorious darkroom and equipment? How else could I get all these hip new drugs for my subjects? Rachel Amber was your victim, not your subject. Oh. Rachel Amber. Hm. That's the real tragedy. Nathan thought he could be an artist like me. Instead, the dumbass gave her an overdose. I cannot believe that I compared my old um, teachers to this fuck nugget. <laughs> On the off chance, the very slight chance that any of you see this, I am sorry. You are nothing like this, Twazik. <sighs> Chloe and Rachel. You killed both of them. They're fucking together in heaven right now. Oh, suck my Is that what you want to hear? fucking tape, you twat. Why? 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 Start listening to me, you dumb cunt. Fuck you! I'm sorry, Max. <laughs> that was not cool. No, that was anyway. just your true self coming out, you fucking psycho. Which was dead. 
But no tears. Los Angeles would have killed her anyway, so look at this as a favor. You're evil. Oh, I see. You're good because you stopped your friend from beating Nathan up. I cared more about Nathan than you did. No, you didn't. It's just too bad that he fell in lust with Rachel. He actually thought he could mimic what I do with the camera and subject, like father, but not like son. Where is Nathan now? Dead and buried. After what he did to Rachel, I knew I couldn't keep him as a protege for much longer. Now the police will never find his body. Do you finally get it now, Max? I can't compromise my vision with amateurs. You are an amateur. Look at the trail of death you left behind. You can't blame all this on Nathan. I don't care what you do to me. You're gonna die, motherfucker. For Chloe. You and fucking Rachel tell him, Max. Everybody else. I do love your spirit, Max, but you brought yourself here by your own choice. Anyway, I like my models to be seen and not heard. So I have to make sure there's nothing left behind of you. Okay. Now, let's see how these shots came out. I can see why your instant camera is so appealing. You don't need a computer to print your work out. I have all those photos in my diary. This could be a way out. This is purity personified. Kind of rewind time. Max. I have all those photos in my diary. This could be a way out. I just wanna... See. There are actually things to shoot in this. Um, I'm looking at, I'm looking at this. No, I'm trying to find my diary, but apparently that's what that is. Let's see what happens if we rewind time. I am doing actually. Oh no, it wasn't. It was pressing caps lock. Okay. Wait. Please. Mr. Jefferson. Max. I would love to talk shop, but I really need to go over these pictures. Especially while they're fresh in my mind. I think our session was a career high for me. Could you... Could you show me the photos? That's the first time one of my models down here has asked me that. Of course you would. But I love that the last thing you'll ever see is yourself through my camera eye. Too perfect. You better ask him something else. Yeah, I'll ask for his diary. I'll ask for my diary. Wait! You... You still have my diary. Don't worry. Nobody's going to read it. Thanks for reminding me. There's nothing more innocent than a teenager's diary. Oh, look at your selfies. What a waste of talent. Look at that shot, Max. Thank you, you, you can dumbass. Do so much better. Good. Stupid.
I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb I'm word back. for a wonderful photographic trick. Right back where I started this insane week. And nobody course, is going to hurt Chloe know, ever again. The portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I'm not into capturing your interest. That's kind of sick, isn't it? <laughs> I guess somebody hasn't had their call. Do you want to try again? Okay, okay, the Daguerrean process. Blah, blah, blah. Let's, uh, let's move on. Hmm? Uh, anyway, so the Daguerrean process made portraiture quite popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear, defined features. You can learn more when you finish reading the assigned chapters. Oh. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday time Heroes. Time to change time. The winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the First, let's, let's make it real easy to capture Mark Jefferson. Jefferson. And Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Bastard. All right, you son of a bitch. I have to warn David about Jefferson and the dark room. Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. Even if you're submitting your photo for the competition, can I get off? I should be able to track down David's number from the school pamphlet. Found you. For once, David, I'm praying you'll overreact to this as much as everything else and take Jefferson down fast. You have just by participating, by putting yourself out there in the world, no matter who wins, this is just a bump on a bigger road. I don't want anybody to feel excluded from this process, but... I you wanted me to enter the contest, asshole. Not for everybody. So maybe I'll be going to San Francisco and Jefferson. You'll be going to prison. The past was in the past. Am I pushing myself too hard? Not impressed anymore. It doesn't matter what happens to me. I have to save Chloe. Hi, Kate. Oh, hey, Max. Kate, listen to me. I am. Always remember that you're not alone. I've got your back no matter what happens. So do a lot of other people. We all care. We're all here for you. You need to know that. Max, that makes me feel so blessed for the first time this week. I, I don't know what to say. That's okay. Neither do I. Maybe we could both use a hug. I'm glad I did that. Thanks. You always know the right thing to do. Hopefully that will stop her from trying to jump off later on in time. Son of a bitch. Mr. Jefferson, we need to talk. Uh. Can you see I'm talking to Mr. Jefferson now? I can see you're kissing ass again. Nothing new. What did you just say? Hold on, Victoria. Are you okay, Max? Not until Victoria knows that hiding behind a screen and posting videos of people is totally fucked up. You know how easy it is to hurt somebody? To destroy their life? Are you proud of yourself? If you have any feelings left, you should think about your actions. Listen. Fuck yeah, Max. I, I, I didn't. Of course you did. You're so insecure, you can't even be happy with your own talent. You have to try and bring everybody down to your mean and ugly level. Okay, 
I do not have to listen to this bullshit. Do I, Mr. Jefferson? Well, it looks like you already did, Victoria. <laughs> I guess I'm done talking. I sure hope so. I'm not going to say I didn't enjoy that, but why? Here's my photograph for the Everyday Heroes contest. Oh, uh, that was easy. No, it wasn't easy at all. Well, I, uh, I, I can't prejudge yet, but I'm very happy you decided to enter. That means a lot to me. And Blackwell, the, the first step for any artist is to put themselves out there in the world without fear. To be... Give me some options. Innocent. Or guilty. Uh... Well, thanks for the photo, and maybe both of us will be jet-setting to San Francisco this Friday. Or maybe only one of us will be going. Don't be so modest, Max. Anything can happen in a week. As you're you going to no find idea. out, Mr. Jefferson. Nice, nice, nice. Yes! <laughs> I'm glad they found her, but I can't scream yes for that. Come on, change, change! <laughs> oh, yes. oh, I'm so glad Cloud's okay. I am so glad Chloe's okay. Whoa! 